What about like glasses? Like Somebody who wears glasses. I th you so do you like wearing glasses or do you want your eyes to improve? I feel like there's something wrong with you. Yeah, I felt I, I'll feel I'll feel the power of God. Right. Yes, I sir. feel like you have something. So you have a knee that hurts? Yes, sir. He has how, surgery. How right. bad does that hurt? Not right now, but it's like, is there some pain there? It's like if you feel the knee, is it your right knee? If you feel it, can you feel like a tenderness there? Is when you feel it? Yeah, feel it right now. Do me a favor. Feel it right now. Because I believe God's going to heal you completely right now. Like you. you Feel a tenderness right now? Do you believe in Jesus? You see, when I was driving by, I felt like the Lord was telling me to stop here and minister to you guys because <laughs> I felt like somebody here needed something. Like sometimes I'll know exactly what it is, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just get a feeling like something's going on. All right, so like what I'm going to do is I'm going to like, in the name of Jesus, I'm just going to tap your knee lightly like that. It's not going to hurt. And I believe the pain's going to go away and the soreness is going to go away. Do you guys believe in Jesus? I, I know, I can tell, I actually see that on you, that the influence of yes. the on you guys, you brought up that way, so, yep. alright, so, you believe in Jesus, and so right now, I command you, pain, leave that knee right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed, alright, now move it around, what'd you feel when I did that? It got loose? You felt, you what? Yeah, so the tension just dissipated immediately? Yeah. Ain't that crazy? Go <laughs> <laughs> move it around a little bit. And how does that feel? It feels better. Is it, now feel it with your hand and tell me if you feel that soreness there. You don't feel it now. Isn't that amazing? Now, like, that's, like, that's not like some mind trick. It's, it, you know, when you believe in Jesus, the power of God God will cause his power to flow through believers, you know? And so he uses believers as vessels, a, a, a conduit, so to speak, of his power. Yeah. And it goes into the believer because Jesus loves you and he wants you to be, you know, healthy. He wants you to be able to not be uh, slowed down by things like this so that you can go forward in life doing what you need to get done. Yes, yeah, he wants us thriving, you know, and this healing is one of the benefits of being in Christ, this it matters to him. That's why I record it, because I like to get evidence of the glory of God, because there's not enough people in this world that believe that he's real. They believe that it's a bunch of nonsense, but you know he's not lying, right? As you can tell just by his reaction and your friends with him, he's not lying. And so like, and so like have you ever experienced that before? So, and, and so like the power, so like you just felt like power going into your knee and the tension just dissipated immediately. And you've never experienced that before. Has anybody ever come up to you, and you're a Christian too, I can see the influence on you that you're raised that way. Has anybody ever said to you, has anybody ever come up to you and tell you, hey, do you believe in Jesus or would you like to know Jesus? Has anybody ever done that? See, this is a this is why, another reason why I record it is because, because Christians are supposed to do that. How would you find out about your Savior, about the one who loves you, the one who made you and loves you, who wants to bless you like that? That's a grace, right? That's that's the grace of God. I'm not, and I'm not asking for anything. I'm not saying, you know, give me fifty bucks, nothing like that. I do it for free, and I go. You know, and it's like so. It's a grace. It's like like Christians are supposed to do that. They're supposed to tell other people Jesus is real. He loves you. And he's going to pour out his grace upon you right now to, for you to see that. But nobody's ever done that for you before. See, and it's like, boy, we're supposed to do that. So, like, I like to make an example of that. Mm -hmm. And then and then tell people this is the way Christianity is. It's not it's not just something you call on yourself. It's a real it's a real faith that would power. You know, it's like the, it's the only faith that's got real power to it. Yeah. How should he feel? Feels good? Are you like a little like shocked at that? Does this help you to believe that he loves you more? Right, because like, because he just did something for you yeah. that you needed, and you didn't even ask. Does this help your faith? Because yeah. because it's like it's not typical like preaching out of the Bible. It's just displaying of the reality, right? Yeah. Amen. So if anyone has an injury in the future, 
Declare healing in Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> and and, if, and if, if you start getting any pain come back, that's a lie from the devil because that's real, right? You know that's real. So if, if, if anything comes back, you say, no, get out pain. I am the heal of the Lord. Jesus has healed me, so get out in Jesus' name. Because the devil will do that. He'll start to get, like somebody might throw, cast doubt into you, might say something doubtful or fearful. And if you start believing that, receiving that doubt then it can manifest pain again so you can't doubt it's like you you don't, you don't accept no fear no doubt you say no 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 that was real i believe it and then it stays amen all right yes. hey guys see you later yeah. <laughs> and, right, and you're going to be a business owner i right? see that you're going to be you've got you've actually got plans you you spend time uh thinking about it like you 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 have plans in mind, and you secretly, quietly develop those plans. Is that right? <laughs> What's yeah. weird? Uh -huh. That's weird. Because remember how I always asked you, I was like, where are you going to go? And you said, don't worry, I got plans. Just don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, if you're listening, you can hear what he's saying about somebody. And then that's a very encouraging word. In fact, I would even venture to guess that my wife's specific word for you may have been more encouraging than the That's true. And, and your name feels good though still right now? Isn't it amazing that that specific word was actually more encouraging than the supernatural power of God taking the pain away? It's like the, like the gifts of that and the gifts are encouraging. It's the Christians that walk in the power of God that get things done in this world. Yep. And, and he get, God gives us authority. He gives us authority to take authority over evil. It's like the pain in your leg is not from God. The pain in your leg that was in your leg is not from God. It's from the enemy. So he gives Christians authority over the enemy. And you have authority to, to speak things in your society and take authority over, over evil that's being perpetrated in your society. It's a manly Christian. Christianity is manly. And it's not it's not some wimpy thing to be in. It's, it's, it's good. So don't let anybody make you feel as if you've got to like be ashamed of your faith. You be proud of it and say, yeah, that's right, I'm a Christian. <laughs> like, I knew that there was something wrong because I felt the power of God. So you have a head cold. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go away right now. And in fact, you're going to feel the power of God. We had prayed for Anna uh, a couple weeks ago for her to get pregnant. And we believe that's going to happen. You believe Amen. that, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. so, so, Lord, we thank you for Anna right now. And we release your power upon her right now. Sickness go from Anna right now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, I, oh, I can feel. I feel it. You feel this? Sickness go right now. Get out. Sickness get out right now in Jesus' name. Infirmity get out. Weakness get out. Tiredness get out in Jesus' name. Go. And I release life and strength and health to you in Jesus' name. You feel it, right? What, what, what are you feeling right now? Good. It's going good, right? You feel like the the, the cold is going away, right? Uh -huh. It's clearing up. Take a deep breath. You feel much better, right? Yeah. I knew Lord it. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, this is something's gonna happen right here. It's it's amazing. Is when when I walked up to you, I just walked up to you because I knew you from you know praying for you, and I was like, hey, wait a minute, I'm feeling the power of God here. So we we again declare that you are gonna become pregnant. You're gonna have a baby. We speak Amen. that over you. Yes. Jesus loves you. He's looking for a family. God. God never stopped. When God said to Adam and Eve, multiply and fill the earth, procreate, whatever he said, he never said to stop that. He didn't say to stop it. So that that word is still out there. So God's still looking for a family. Yeah. So you feel that? Like there was more power that was released when I said that. And you felt like more of a... You still feel it, right? Because uh -huh. I can feel it. Hallelujah. Say, Jesus, I believe. <laughs> Jesus, I believe. Amen. Amen. You, uh, how many? How many? Uh, how long have you been a Christian? Um, five years. And have, has anybody ever come up to you in the five years and talked to you about Jesus out in public? No. And has any? Have you ever been to feel the power of God like that when somebody prayed for you before? Um, maybe once or twice. In church? Yes. Oh, that's good. So you've experienced that. And so, but and did you get healed when you were prayed for? Like was there something um, wrong, or are you just praying for general things? No, not really. So you got, so you feel like you're healed though, right this yeah. now, right? But you feel so much better. Yeah, amen. And so, okay, so like, well, well, you know, that's the whole thing about Christianity. Is that we're not, it's not a private thing. What's going to tell people?